In this case, we're going to deal with some problems involving rates of performing work. And these are the types that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with because it's not as intuitive. So let's uh, take a look at this example and I'll show you how to use a really good method to solve these kinds of problems. All right, it says uh, Mary can paint a garage by herself in six hours. John can paint the same garage by himself in nine hours. How fast can they paint it together when they work together? All right, where do you start? Wow. Well, it turns out that the best way to work on something like that is using this equation right here. If you take the rate of the first person, how fast they can do work, times the time that they work at doing the job together, plus the rate of the second person times the time that they need to work on it together, T, and of course that T has to be the same amount of time because it's the time that they can get the job done together. Um, that should equal the whole job done. So that's the equation that I like to use. All right, so what is the rate at which both Mary and John can do work? So Mary is the first person, so we'll figure out the rate for her, and John is the second person, we figure out the rate for him. Well. If Mary can do the whole job in six hours, then her rate of doing work for every hour is one-sixth of the job. So for Mary, one-sixth of the job every hour is what she can do. That's how fast she can work. And the time is how long it takes for both of them to do the work together. And that's what we're looking for, the time where they can do it both together. All right. Now, the rate for John, well, since he can do it by himself in nine hours, he works at a rate a little bit smaller than Mary's rate, so it would be one-ninth of the job done every hour, so that's the rate for John, one-ninth of the job times the time that they'll both work on it together, and that adds up to the whole thing, and in this case we're looking for t, the time. So that's how we do these kinds of problems. The rate is simply the inverse of how long it takes them to do the whole job by themselves. So one-sixth of the whole job every hour is the rate for Mary, one-ninth of the whole job is the rate for John. Now let's go ahead and solve this problem. Now we've learned how to do that before, and since we have fractions here, we have to get rid of the fractions, so we have to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. Now, what's the lowest common denominator for 6 and 9? Well, it could be 54 by multiplying them together, but since they're both divisible by 3, if you multiply this by 3, that gives it 18, and 9 fits into 18 just nicely, so 18 would be a good lowest common denominator here. Now, 18 divided by 6 is 3, so that gives me 3t, plus 18 divided by 9 is 2, that gives me plus 2t, equals 18 times 1 is 18. Now we go ahead and combine the like terms, 3 plus 2t, that's 5t, equals 18, and now we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable, t. That cancels out. We have t equals 18 over 5, which is 3.6, which means that when they work together, they can do the job in 3.6 hours. So you can see, if we do it like this, it's not too bad.